rocky. I can't stand it anymore. Do you know that there are these rockets and missiles hitting Israel all the time? Ah, uh, what do you mean hitting Israel all the time? They're going up in the air like fireworks, and they're being shot down by anti-missile things that the U.S. is providing, so they're not hitting the ground. Do you know, though, to say that there are missiles and all kinds of weapons going into the Gaza Strip and actually killing people? But Rocky, for God's sakes, there are sirens all the time and you gotta run to shelters. How do you think kids feel about that? They're scared. Ah, how do you think that kids feel about running to, to whatever shelter they can find? They don't have shelters. They, they look for some roof or something and then they find their sister lying near dead. How, what do you think those kids feel like? Oh, but Rocky, but, 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 but do, do you know what it's like to feel afraid all the time? Day and night, you can't even sleep because the sirens are going to go off and you're scared about your sons who are in the army and what's going to happen to them. Well, I do have a little bit of that sense because when I was a kid, I was part of a, I lived in, in an in a area of one gang. And there were a ne a next area was another gang, and the gangs just fought all the time. And what I had was fear, fear that that I might step into the other gang's territory and they beat me up, or fear that they might come in and beat me up. Oh, I was lucky. I happened to live in a building where they bought the the king of my gang of the gang of my area lived there, and he sort of offered protection. But that didn't matter. That was like, uh, like in Israel, they have the idea of offering protection. But it didn't matter. I was still afraid. I was afraid that they would come in from the other place and hurt us. Oh, Rocky. Oh, Rocky. I just hate being in fear. I'm just always afraid. And you also sound like you're afraid. You, you, know, you know, I mean, we just talk the same way all the time. Yeah. Yeah, well, I am. I mean, it, it, it's like a mirror image, man. I got fear, you got fear, Israelis have fear, Palestinians have fear. What the are we whole gonna... world is afraid! Yeah, what are we going to do? What are we going to do, Rocky? Oh, you know, it makes me think of that nudist group, I mean, that Buddhist group, the Zen peacemakers. They say when things like this happen, you got to be a witness to it. Oh, you can vault. How do you bear witness to all of this fear and this hard stuff? I'm too scared, Rocky. I can't go there. I can't bear witness. I ain't going there. Yeah, well, you got to bear witness to being scared. What, what I think I'm going to do, I decided that I don't know what to do. And it's very, very, very frustrating. I, can't, I don't know what to do because I hear you saying, and I, I understand the Israelis are suffering and they're in fear, and I and the Palestinians are suffering and they're in fear. And we sit here in the United States and, and, and watch everybody suffering in fear. So I think I'm going to go over there and try this uh, Buddhist trick this bearing witness trick. I'm going to go over there and try to bear witness to what's going on and see if anything comes up because I have no idea. You mean you're going to go to the front lines? I think so. What about going to the beach in Gaza? Oh, up in the beach. Oh, no. No? No, no, no. They bombed the beaches. I'm not, I'm too scared. You know, I hate loud noises and I'm scared, Rocky. Oh, you're going to come with me? You can come with me, and you can bear witness to being scared. I'll be, I'll bear witness to everybody hating each other, and maybe together something will happen. Okay, Rocky, it's a deal. Okay, let's go.